डॉक्टर भाई ने गरीबों का मेला आयोजित करके वो गरीबों की सेवा कर रही है तो मुझे तुरंत अखबार में और टीवी पे चला कि नरेंद्र मोदी की तुलना मैंने गांधी और दीनदयाल उपाध्याय के साथ की करके न्यूज छपे जब एनडीटीवी के एक प्रोग्राम में उन्होंने मेरा भाषण सुनाया तो मैंने उनको उल्टा सवाल पूछा कि मैंने कहा तुलना की बोले नहीं की तो आप क्यों लिखते हो क्यों छापते हो मुझे लगता है कभी कभी एक सेक्शन ऑफ मीडिया में बहुत जल्दी ऐसी बातें कॉन्ट्रावर्सी शायद उनको मालूम नहीं क्या है पर ये ऐसी खड़ी की जाती है ठीक है सम ट्रुथ इन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई मीन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ दिस वुड बी मोर एनालिसिस देन जस्ट स्पेकुलेशन इज दैट पहाप्स यू आर द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन दैट आरएसएस वुड लाइक टू बी देयर बिकॉज़ इन योर लैंग्वेज एंड इन योर टॉक यू प्रोबब्ली कनेक्ट मोर विद द कंस्टिट्यूएंसी ऑफ द बीजेपी इज दैट ट्रू यू आर नॉट इलिटिस्ट यू आर नॉट समबडी फ्रॉम द देखिए ये सब इमेज वर्सेस रियलिटी वाली बात है आरएसएस ने मुझे सात महीने में एक ही समय एक ही बात कही थी भाई कोई उनका डायलॉग नहीं उनने कोई आदेश नहीं दिया उनने कुछ बताया नहीं मुझे लगता है कि ये बड़े आप भी इस पर चिंता करिए मैं बहुत फ्री फ्रैंक और फेयर हूँ और कभी मुझे पूछा तो मैं बताऊंगा ऐसा है करके ना आरएसएस कभी इंटरफेयर करता है ना कुछ कहता है उसका कोई संबंध भी है बीजेपी अपनी एक डेमोक्रेटिक पार्टी है सब चर्चा होती है अनेक अनेक विषयों पर लोग अपने मत रखते हैं सामूहिक विचार से चिंतन से पार्टी चलती है तो ये तो कभी कभी मीडिया वाले कहा से शोध लगाते हैं और कहा से बातें लगाते हैं भगवान को मालूम हो कांग्रेस इज यूजिंग सीबीआई एंड सोहरा दिन इज एक्सट्रीमिस्ट इज अ टेररिस्ट व्हेन द देर वाज अ रेड इन हाउस बट इफ ही इज अ टेररिस्ट यू कैन किल हिम इन अ फॉल्स एनकाउंटर हु इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड दैट इट इज अ फॉल्स एनकाउंटर Welcome back. We are talking to BJP President Mr. Nitin Gadkare. We've been talking to him about himself, but now we'll talk about the BJP. Tell me, the party's vote bank has gone down steadily. You know, like we have, it's a record low low of 18% in 2009, as against 1991, when you were 20%, and in between went up to 24-26%. So even the seats have come down. They are 116 as against a record high of 182 in 98 and 99. Now why has this happened? Yeah, this is happening with Congress party also. Once upon a time, uh, in, in, in the time when Singh Rao was the leader of the party, they have just got to 114. True. Yeah, once upon a time at Rajiv Gandhi's but time, you're not it was the Congress. But you are not the Congress, you are the BJP. We are a political party. It never happens. It will happen every time. Somewhere there are good proportion of vote percentage there. Some there is a less percentage. Of, it is happens. But one thing I want to clear it. Mm. That basically as far as our basic strength is concerned, we are less than 5 to 7 percent than Congress party. And that's why we have decided to concentrate on scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, minorities, unorganized sector laborers, and with the friends of BJP, concentrating more on intellectual class, doctor, professors, lawyers, and journalists, traders, businessmen, industrialists. And we have decided, we are already concentrating on it. But it's always interesting when the BJP talks about the minorities. Now, the minorities includes? Muslims. Muslims. All right. So, how, how, how do you think that the Muslims are going to get attracted to the BJP when you have Gujarat still as an open question, when the BJP itself has taken certain positions which the Muslims feel are not pro-minority? or at least not fair to the minorities? Actually, at that time in the regime of Atal Bihari Bajpayee, we never take any decision against the minorities. There are a lot of decisions mm -hmm. which are taken by Atal Bihari Bajpayee's government in the interest of the minority. Even in our state government, including Gujarat, we never discriminate minorities. 
even in our many states where we are the ruling party, there is never we discriminate Muslims and minorities. The fact is that we are anti-terrorists, not anti-Muslims. So the people who were killed in Gujarat were all terrorists? I will, one thing I want to ask you, more than that, in Maharashtra, the, in the particularly the way in which in 1992 riots, the situation worse was than Gujarat. It is very unfortunate for every government. And sometime in the government, when the government taken a decision, when it is executed by the police forces, it is not in the hands of the political leadership how to tackle the situation. Now the way in which it is interpreted, now the encounter case, just you consider. Now there is 111 encounters in Manipur. In Uttar Pradesh, 300 encounters are there. And in Gujarat, from last 6, 7 years, 8 years, only 19 encounters are there. But I never understand why there is only the inquiry from CBI for Gujarat. It is because of the, that the Congress party has a planned strategy to prove BJP as an anti-Muslim party. So how are you going to, how are you going to woo the Muslims now? I want to concentrate on Muslims. It's my duty that I will go to Muslims, to the minorities. I tell them our country needs prosperity and progress. The Muslim population is facing lot of problem, poverty, unemployment. You know that I am in Nagpur. I give an engineering college to Anjuman Islam, which is only for ladies. Thousands of girls now trained as engineers. Now education, Muslim needs education. I am demanding today, I have given a letter to the Prime Minister. All work plan, give it to the Muslim Charitable Trust, who are working in the interest of the Muslim youth, particularly for a vocational and job-oriented education, particularly engineering, medical, management, polytechnic and ITI. Right. Encourage them. This is the need of the Muslim community and we are interested to give them good education. I never be of this opinion. I don't know. It's a, it's a whole bank politics of the Congress party to create lot of confusion in the mind of the Muslims and take their all votes. This is the political plan strategy and whole bank politics of the Congress party. Well, that's an interesting argument. What about the former allies? I'm just changing the subject a little bit. All your various allies that were with the NDA government slowly left the... BJP, whether it's the National Conference, the DMK, all the Southern parties, the Biju Janta Dal, the AGP, the Lok Dal. Now, what is it? This is opportunism. Many, it, opportunism. It, it many times happens. If we get more than 175 seats in the parliament, again, our friends, old friends will come to us. No problem. So, sheer opportunism. I don't want to <laughs> tell it, but it is the politics because the alliance politics is not available. And politics is a game of political compulsion, political contradictions, political limitation. We have to face that. Are you going to try and get them back? No, this is not a situation for that. But the situation will come. Once you Our get 175 will seats. Come with us. Okay, you took Jaswan Singh back. And yes. uh, the RSS, again I'm quoting what came in the media. You didn't seem to have denied it. That the RSS is not very happy when you took Jaswan Singh Ji back. 100% it is totally a false propaganda. I am a person who initiated, requested Jaswan Singh. So to it's strange, he was thrown out uh, on, the, on the book, on Pakistan, etc., etc. And then he's taken back. Why? Maybe he may have some thinking. That is not, we are a democratic party. But at so the same why did time, you throw him? Why was he thrown he out? He positively contributed for the party. He is a senior leader. And I have personal feeling and good respect about him. That's why I go to his house. So I which was him. a mistake? Throwing him out or getting him back in? So it is past now. Chodo kalki baate kalki baat purani. Nahi dhor se likhenge hum nahi kahani. So what about all the other